Hello everybody! Welcome back to Baking Budgets, y'all. I'm so glad you clicked on my video because today I'm going to be doing my very first cash stuffing for the month of October and it is also my birth month so I'm very very excited about this month in general. I just feel like once we enter into October it's like fall time. It's go time. And we're going to the pumpkin patch tomorrow and we have a little bit of a road trip plan in a few weeks. So this month is going to be an awesome month and I hope it's going to be an awesome month for you guys too. So let's just go ahead and get stuffing you guys. Today I'm working with $3,062 plus a little bit of rollover money and we'll get into all of that. Um, but first I'm going to go ahead and stuff my bills. And in case you're wondering how I stuff my bills with the cash envelope system, please check out my video that I posted right before for this where I did my budget breakdown which I'll be referencing for the, this throughout this video but I'll just have it tucked on the side okay guys let's get into this credit card is not getting anything but mint mobile is getting $240 so 100 200 220 and 240 um so guys I always say this all the time but I'll just say it one last time or one more time <laughs> um I do stuff my bills with prop money and I leave all my bills in one account in my bank because all of my bills get drawn out of my bank account but this way i know the exact amount i have per category in my bank account so that's why i separate it this way next is insurance insurance is going to be getting 330 so 100 200 300 320 and 330 and in case you're thinking like wow that's a lot for bills guys this is my entire bill i mentioned it in my budget breakdown that i normally stuff my bills um i split them in half because my husband gets paid twice a month so whenever he gets paid he pays for all of our bills i also work from home with my etsy everything you see in my videos including these envelopes are all in my etsy shop um but any money that i make through etsy i usually just stuff it for like our vacation fun things like that it's mainly our side my side income um but all of his money we use for bills groceries um savings things like that so because of that when he gets paid twice a month um each time he gets paid we put half of the bills half yeah we split the bills in half and half um goes to the bills and then the next time he gets paid the other half um is ready to go but this last time he got paid we had to pay off his phone so we didn't get to stuff as much bills as we normally do but i knew that his income would cover it so it's totally fine so that's why if it seems like a lot that's the reason why because it's the entirety of the bill next is netflix is going to get 22 so 21 and 2 oh my gosh y'all speaking of netflix do you guys watch love is blind you guys i'm freaking hooked my husband and i that is our show hello fresh is going to be getting skipped electric and gas is just going to be getting 50 don't quite know what our bill is going to be for this month but i do know we have been running our heater a lot more just because it's been really cold these past days um here in the pacific northwest but um I'm just gonna throw in a 50 for now and then we'll see when they let me know in a few time in a few in a few days i'll find out what the bill is okay personal loan is getting 300 so 100 200 and 300 dollars next is spotify it won't be getting stuff this time neither will toyota this is for my husband's car payment and we're a month ahead on his payment so we're not due till november and then rent is pretty much getting everything else. Rent is going to be getting $1,015. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1,010 and 1,015. So in here we have 1,000, 1,050, 1,070, 1,080, 1,090, 1,095, and 1,100 perfect so all my bills are ready to go and be paid so that is awesome all right now let's take out my real cash that i have from the bank i use real cash for everything else um it's just mainly uh my other stuff that i don't use real cash for my bills i mean okay perfect i got everything here so let's go ahead and give this a quick count but i just have to get sorted out a little bit i'm pretty sure that's it okay perfect so let's go ahead and count this guy so we have 100 200 300 400 
and I'll leave this to the side for 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 820, $820, $840, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860, $860
and so she's getting fifty dollars from me and my husband and then the twenty five dollars from my mother so i'm gonna try to get like a nice a nice ish looking one because it'll be in here for a while i suppose Ooh, that one is not good none of these are good honestly i had really good 20s last week okay 20 and a five so my daughter got a total of $75. So she now has 150, 170, and 175. So that's awesome. She is so close to 200 in cash. Perfect. Next is Lychee's emergency. We aren't stuffing this one today. Car emergency is gonna get $200. So 100 and 200. My car is needing some tires, guys. So I'm getting ready to bulk this up pretty good. Over budget will not be getting stuffed. Neither did will Roth or Future. Next week is going to be getting $170. So we're going to go ahead and do that in 20s. So 20, 40, or well, okay, let me do it like this. So eating out is going to get 80, 20, 40, 60, 80 for next week. And then gas will be getting 50. So 20, 40, 45, and 50. And then groceries will get 20, 20, and 40. Okay, I split it up this way so that way I don't carry all of our money for the next two weeks. So yeah, okay, so next week we got 170, this should be. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 165, and 170. Perfect. Savings will be getting skipped, so we'll want the head and gifts. Lychee's expenses will be getting $50, so 20, 40, 45, and 50. And we have 20, 40, 45, and 50. And this is to pay my sister for watching our dog, plus a little bit extra. Family fund will also be getting $50. We're going to be heading to the pumpkin patch tomorrow, so 20, 40, 45 and 50, 20, 40, 45 and 50 dollars. And thankfully I looked online and the pumpkin patch takes cash. So that is perfect. Cause I hate having to use my card and then like take the money to the bank and like pay myself and make change and yeah. So I'm glad that I'm able to do this. Nothing for hair care, nothing for Great Wolf Lodge. It was getting 110, but I left that in the bank because it's actually to pay my sister for our room. Nothing in annuals, nothing in baby expenses or vacation or anniversary, but tools will be getting um, $50. So 20, 40, 45, and 50. 20, 40, 45, and 50. And this is for my husband. There's a few things that he has in mind that he wants to get. So we're just getting ready to bulk that up. Okay, perfect. So that'll be it for my black binder, but I'll, I'm gonna have to come back to my black binder in a little bit, but... For now, let's go into my savings challenge. Oh, I almost forgot. Special bills, we can do that now. Okay, so so that I don't keep like um, counting my special bills over and over, I just like to keep a little piece of paper in here and then I'll go ahead and add it. So we're adding a total of $21 today. And today is the six. So we have 218 plus 21. So we have a total of $239 of special bills. So that is awesome. That is really, really awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put the one, I keep the twos and the ones back here. And as you can see, I have an A bill that is a $2 bill and then the rest of these are star notes. And then I also have the A's as well. So I'll put the A back here with the other A's. And I don't know, you guys, I don't know. Where should I put this 20? It's, oh, let me put this back here. You guys, where should I put the 20? Should I put it? I feel like I need to put it in the front because it's so special. Like, I have a star note that's 100 bill, but you guys, I even have an old little five from 2003. But you guys, I am telling you, this bill is even more special than them all. So this one gets to go in the front. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. She's beautiful. Okay, now we're going into my savings challenge from Luna Saves Cash, and we're pretty much gonna finish it up today. So we're gonna be adding $255. So let's just go ahead and add this up. So we have 15, five, five, 
15, 5, 10, and 5 is 60. And then we have 10. Oh, well, 10 for those both. These two together are 30, and these two together is 15. 125. Mm -hmm. Then we have these three are 25. This is 35, and this is 10. Perfect. And then we have 5 and 10. We have 20, and then we have 30. Oh my gosh, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my goodness, that is so amazing. Okay, love that, love it, love it, love it. So that should be everything right here. It should be a total of $255. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and add it in here. So we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 240, or sorry, let me just do it like this. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 245, 250, and 255. So let's add it to here. And then that should do it. So we have a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 500 dollars, guys. Oh my Lanta, I'm so stoked that we finished this challenge because I'm actually gonna go ahead and stuff the money right now. Okay, so we're done with this challenge, which is so freaking amazing. And I'm gonna have to find another challenge to start doing. But let's go into this binder right here because what we're gonna do is I'm going to stuff half of this money is gonna go into um, Great Wolf Lodge. Um, and that was pretty much the whole reason why I did this thing um while i did this challenge because i knew i wanted to do half into great wolf lodge and half into vacation so we're gonna do 250 oh but i feel like i kind of want to use the smaller bills but i can't though mm, so we'll do 100 200 oh my goodness you guys oh my goodness you guys i'm such a nematode i can do it okay there we go and then two fives perfect okay so in Great Wolf Lodge, we're going to be adding this amount right here is 100, 200, 220, 240, 245, and 250. Perfect. This should be more than enough for us to get by a Great Wolf Lodge. Unfortunately, they do not um, take cash. So I do have to, um, I'm going to have to use my card while I'm there. And then I'll just take the money back out of here, pay myself back. And then next, we're going to put the other money into oh wait into vacation so this should also be 250 so 100 200 220 240 245 and 250 which is perfect but honestly though i don't know if i'm going to yeah i suppose that's fine okay i'll just put it in here because ideally i okay guys let me tell you I actually already bought our plane tickets and it came out to $720, I believe, um, around there. But I just used the money that I already had in my account because when you're booking like plane tickets, you guys, you know, like as the time gets closer, the prices go up. So I really wanted to knock or not knock. I wanted to lock in that price. So that's why I just went ahead and paid it with my debit card, the money that I already had in my account. So this is just to pay myself back. And so that's why I was like, Oh, I guess I could just take it out and keep it in my wallet and pay myself back um, and like put it back into my account. But then I thought, I don't know. I'm afraid I'm going to spend it if I have it in my wallet <laughs> and I need to put that money back in my account. It's my buffer account. In case you aren't familiar with it, um, pretty much it's like, you know, you just keep money in your account just in case a bill comes out or something like that. And you were um, prepared or maybe you kind of forgot about it. Um, you just have some money in your account. Um, some people keep like 100, 200. You know, I like to keep mine. Um you know, at least over a thousand dollars. So yeah, that's why I need to pay myself back. So in here, what did I just put in here? So 100, 200, 220, 40, 45, and 50. So $250. And I just, and it was 720. So I still have $470 to go. And mm, 
So I'm thinking of what savings challenge I want to do next. And I th I'm thinking, I just have like this binder full of like my little savings challenges. Um, let's see. Oh, this one's 200. That's awesome. And the 20s. I love the 20s. I think for the next challenge, I'm going to do this froggy challenge. Um, This one is actually available on my shop. This one is mine. And so is this $1,000 savings challenge. It's also available in 2000 as well. So for now, I'm going to take out my Go See Face Savings Challenge. And let's see here. I'm going to take out the Go See Face one because I just completed it. And of course, she will be back, guys. Once I finish my this one, um, my froggy one, I'm gonna do this one again, just because it's like, you know, obviously we're here in October, guys. It's like spooky season. So for now, I'm just gonna take this one out and I'm gonna just put it here back into my savings challenge binder. I just like to keep them organized in here. That way I don't lose track of them. And because like this one, she gave me the sticker for free. So I wanna keep it with this um tracker oh my gosh stunning okay so this will be the next savings challenge that i do because like i said i still owe myself back 470 dollars um and this totals up to 500 bucks so i'll be more than good doing it that way and um yeah then i'll be able to like fully pay myself back but anyways guys Thank you so much for tuning in today's video, guys. Today was so much fun. I just feel like it's been so long since I've been able to like stuff like envelopes, other envelopes in my binders. And it's just been so long that I've been able to just like sit and talk to you guys. Um, so it just feels so good to catch up with you guys. It just feels like catching up with an old friend. So thank you guys so much for being here in this space with me, in this moment with me. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video where it will be my side income cash stuffing. So I can't wait to see y'all then. Alrighty, bye.